Welcome back. Today is National Diabetes Day, and we want to talk a little bit more about diabetes, gestational, and also how you can have your risk go up with the type 2 diabetes if you don't take care of it. Back with us today are Laurie Batch and Brenda Rolfe to talk more about it. Ladies, thank you for coming back. This is an important conversation. So many women end up finding out they have gestational diabetes. They think, okay, as soon as my pregnancy is over, that's it. Is that the truth? That's true. A lot of women think that I don't have anything to worry about. I've had my baby and everything's going to be fine. But the truth of the matter is you do have to worry and there are things you have to take care of. So what should women be worrying about and maybe not even worrying about but thinking about as soon as they have their baby? I think what we want to make sure is that women go back for their postpartum visit and that they keep that appointment and that they make sure that at that visit that they have their blood sugars tested at their postpartum visit to make sure that their blood sugar levels have gone back to normal. Okay, and after that happens, I'm sure that at home there's many things you can do, but what are the signs and symptoms you need to be aware of where you're thinking, okay, I need to go back and talk to my doctor again because maybe this is turning into full-blown mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And we do recommend that women with gestational diabetes get tested at least once every three years, but if they start to experience some symptoms such as uh, a lot of thirst, um, frequent urination, being fatigued, uh, they probably need to go in and get checked sooner. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about what you can do because you say in the end lifestyle changes can make all the difference in the world. So what are some of the small things you can start doing at home to make sure all of us that we're avoiding type 2 diabetes? Well, immediately postpartum, some of the things that women can do is they can breastfeed their babies. That's one of the best things they can do for both the mom and the baby. And then they can work on losing the weight that they put on with their pregnancy. So getting those baby pounds off is going to be helpful in, in reducing their risks. And they can do things like eating better, um, you know, good nutrition, exercising. And if you're overweight, losing as much as just... 5% of your body weight can reduce your, your risk for going on and developing. All right, so it's not all about vanity and fitting in those skinny jeans. It really is for your long term. It health. really is. All right, ladies, thank you so much. And they told me uh, that half of these women will end up with type 2 diabetes if you don't take care of it. So important to love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Thank you so much thank for you. coming in. Thank you.